This video demonstrates some of the capabilities of Traverse Adjustment inside Trimble Business Center version 3.30. Here in the project we have three existing traverses that came from Trimble Access. In the previous implementation of TVC, users had the ability to view the property information of these traverses as well as to clear any uh, Traverse Adjustment results. In TVC version 3.30, Notice that there's a, a new command called adjust traverse. If you launch that command, a new adjust traverse command shows up. The command is also available as a right click from the object in the project explorer or by selecting a traverse object in the plan view. Notice that in the preview results, you can see the results of the traverse adjustment performed in Trimble Access. In this case we are going to create a new traverse. We are going to call our new traverse Fred and say create. Notice that software will offer all of the existing possible stations to start your traverse. In this case we will choose station 1 which is located here in the center of our project. By selecting a plus button here the software adds a possibility to add other station. Notice that from station 1 software has narrowed down the options and the user has the opportunity to go either to station 107 or to station 108. If you zoom in here we can see that station 108 is on the right hand and station 107 is on the left hand side. So we can choose station observation towards station 108 and notice that the software continues adding traverse elements or traverse stations until it reaches another point of intersection. So here at station 112 a user has the ability to go to station 113 or here to station 118 as indicated here from the choices. If for some reason we want to end up traverse here at the station 110 we can simply remove all the traverses and end on station 110. TBC will handle both closed loop and open loop traverses. So let's continue adding traverses here, going to station 113. Or we can simply, if you are happy with the offered choice, you can select from the list and say plus. Next, we'll continue working back towards our station 1. Notice now we are close back to the station 1. As a start station we can use full station orientation or we can choose any of the individual backsides for the initial backside information. It is recommended always to use full available information for station orientation. We can do that for the end station as well. In the other settings user can choose uh, on the way to adjust angles, so proportional to distance, equal to proportion or none. So the longer the traverse length or the distance of a segment, the higher weight is going to be given to that angle, similar to the adjust vertical. And uh, as a traverse adjustment options, the users can choose between a compass or bowditch or a transit rule. This is a very important settings. So there are two different school of thoughts on the traverse adjustment. There are a lot of users that prefer to adjust traverses once and then prefer their traverses not to move. And uh, in traditional TVC implementation with network adjustment, if you change any of the elements that are related to the adjustment, then the adjustment will compute automatically. So that means if you have prism type or a prism height that you would like to change, if your traverse is set to adjust automatically, you will notice a recompute button and you can just automatically recompute your traverse and update the traverse result. If you prefer your traverses not to move, you will simply have adjust manually as a, an option here. Also notice that in the project settings, under computations, traverses. There are two settings here, manual horizontal and manual vertical torrents. So that means if a software computes a result that is for this distance 
different than the adjustment that was computed dynamically it will give you a flag and suggest that you need to recompute your manual traverse on other settings you can see a misclosure per station so this number is going to be multiplied by the number of stations and if that number exceeds the total angle of misclosure then you will get a flag as well horizontal and vertical precisions are ratios of the traverse length over the misclosure and weighted mean means if you have a 10 four sides for example and two back sides if you've done multiple rounds the software will weight those more heavily as you've done that measurement more times or if you choose no then you will simply use same weight for the back set and four set observation regardless of how many measurements have been made the last setting is uh, the enabled or disabled so you can create as many traverse objects as you want and as long as they are disabled they won't influence the coordinate information in the project so in this case enabled you can always view or preview the results before you apply the adjustment so you can see your horizontal disclosure to traverse length and the precision so the higher this number is the better so that means the longer the traverse and the smaller the disclosure your precision will be better so after you're happy with results you can simply hit apply and notice that the new traverse called Fred will be computed you can simply clear the results of uh, Fred Traverse Adjustment or you can view the Traverse Adjustment Report. In the Traverse Adjustment Report you can see the typical information such as Traverse Name, Method, Settings, Adjustment Date, Number of Points in the Traverse, Starting and Ending Point and the Orientation, the Misclosure before after the Adjustment, as well as the precision in the brackets are the precisions indicated in the project settings this was a horizontal only traverse and therefore you see a question mark for the vertical precisions before and after angular adjustment also you can see the redu reduced horizontal distances before the adjustment in the table here as well as the horizontal adjustments for azimuth adjusted azimuth and adjusted easting and northing information also at the end of the report you can see a preview of your traverse shape so you can have some indication of how your traverse looked like when you read the report that concludes our video on working with traverses inside trimble business center version 3.30